will bring the cup, perfect cup of coffee at home as possible. Hard to believe, but. <laughs> um, and today, Dex, the head coffee roaster from Thunder Coffee, is here to teach us how. So it is possible. Oh, it's very possible. <laughs> it's way easier than uh, a lot of people like to make it. Um, Although I feel like Thunder Coffee always makes the perfect cup of coffee. Oh, so <laughs> yeah, we, we definitely try our best. And today I brought a couple of coffees to kind of talk through, kind of give you some basics on how to make your home coffee setup better. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll start with well, and this. Also, you are the head roaster. So what does yes. that mean? So I roast all of the coffee that Thunder Coffee serves, anything that you see with Thunder Coffee's name on it. Um, I'm the one that has pretty much cooked that coffee. Uh, cool. Yeah, oh, I've been doing I that like, for I about like a year now. I like that coffee. That's yeah. interesting. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's very similar to baking bread or um, working in a kitchen. It's a coffee manufacturing process. Awesome. Yeah. So you're, you're roasting all your own coffee. Yeah. And okay, so the basics now, and you have classes yes. that teach us this. Yes, we just started our class lineup. This Thursday is our first one, uh, but we will be having another on January 13th, another Thursday, second Thursday of January. And we're going to kind of go over the same basics that we'll be talking about here, okay. uh, just a little bit more in depth. So yeah, where do we begin with brewing this cup of coffee in the morning? Very important thing. The, <laughs> the easiest step to making better coffee at home is using better whole bean coffee. Okay. So find coffee that you can trace back to the, at least the region. Uh, find coffee that has a roast date on it. Uh, that's very important. Using fresh coffee is much better than using coffee that's been sitting on a grocery store shelf for a year. Who knows well, how long? That's good that you say that because I, I see the expiration dates of like, whoa, you know, long yeah. ago. But yeah, fresher coffee. Yeah. yeah. So like this one was roasted on the 6th of this okay. month. So ideally, you're using your coffee within, <clears throat> you know, four four to six weeks okay. of, uh, of its roast date. Is it better to keep it in the freezer? You can keep your coffee okay. in the freezer. That <laughs> and that is kind of a uh, an, a highly debated subject okay. in, the, in the coffee world right now. So I brought up some yeah touchy subject. No, I, I guess I, <laughs> I love it though because uh, if you vacuum seal it, if you're planning on storing your coffee for a long time, absolutely store it in okay. the freezer. If you're planning on working through it in the, I don't know, in a month, then you don't necessarily need to worry about that. But if you're planning on going on vacation or anything like that, Stick and you've got some there. really good coffee yeah. that you want to stay good. Throw it in the okay. freezer. Yeah. And you have some fun blends too, and I think that these are fun gifts, like the naughty and the nice blend. And this is when you said is the naughty. Yes, it this is, smells we're brewing so the naughty right good. now. Yeah. Uh, for the holiday season, we decided to come out with some new blends. So we've got our naughty and our nice here. The naughty is a single origin Guatemala. Uh, it's tasting very chocolatey, some bright lemon going for it as well. Uh, this one is a rock star of a coffee. A little bit more on the medium side of a roast. Sure. And now, can you explain to us this whole setup? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> uh, so the second part of brewing better coffee is measuring your ingredients, right? So I've got my kettle right off the boil, so I know what temperature it is. I've got my scale telling me how much coffee I put in and how much water I put in. Okay. And um, I'm also tracking the time. So at uh, I know when I need to pour more water, when I need to uh, stop oh, pouring really? water. Yeah. Okay. So there are very specific things when it comes down to, to measure it. Uh, I'm sure there's a certain ratio that there, you're using. There actually is, yeah. So for every gram of coffee, we're going to use uh, 16 grams of water. And that's a really good place to start when okay. you're brewing your coffee so at home. So one gram to 16 grams. Yeah. Okay. And some people might like coffee more on that 1 to 14 side. I know that there are some coffees that I really enjoy in that 1 to 14 range, where there are other brighter, uh, more vibrant coffees that I like at a 1 to 17 ratio. So like, if I want uh, 8 ounces of coffee yeah. in my cup, how much? Do I need to start with a coffee grounds? So that I didn't mean to ask like such a. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm doing all the math in my head right now, and that's about 14 to 15 grams of uh, ground coffee, okay. and about 250, 260 ish grams of water there. Okay, so how many grams was 15? Uh, of yeah. Coffee. Yep. Okay, so yep. 15. You guys do the math. Yeah. yeah. Okay, because I'm like. If someone wants, you know, how much is one gram? Yeah, that's that's about my uh, that's my home recipe. I usually do 15 grams in, 250 grams out, and that fills up about an eight ounce cup. Okay. Yeah. So step one, we have better coffee. Use better coffee. Two, measure. Measure your ingredients, and then the third part is really simple, but 
sometimes can be really overlooked. Um, use clean water. Use clean, fresh water with minerals in it. You want the minerals when you're brewing coffee. Uh, they, are, they play a key role in getting the good stuff in the bean into our cup. Okay. Uh, and brewed coffee is about 98% water. So if you're, if you're using uh, you know, not as good tasting water, your coffee obviously mm. isn't going to taste as good either. Good point. Um, before we wrap up, yeah. I want to, you know, more merchandise. You yes. got shirts. We, we do have some merch available at the shop. As well, we've got these brand new mugs. They uh, have Thunder Coffee, West Fargo, Nodak on there, as well as our slogan, Community Driven Coffee, on the back in a pink and a teal. Uh, and those go nicely with the Naughty and the Nice uh, combo there. Uh, you mentioned like also you have partnered. Yes, we, we do have a Survive the Holidays uh, <laughs> gift pack coming yeah. up. It's going to be two mixed four packs of beer. We do also sell beer at the coffee shop too, which not a lot of people are familiar with. Um, but you can get two mixed four packs, a bag of coffee, and a tote bag that says Thunder Coffee on it, uh, all for $60. Fun gift idea. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Dex. We got to check out those classes, go to Thunder Coffee, learn all about it. Now we know how to brew. Yeah. Properly. <laughs> Thanks for so having cheers me. Cheers to the morning, yeah, right? Yeah, cheers. <laughs> Coming up on today's show, a cancer survivor whose mission is to light up his neighborhood each Christmas season, bringing joy to others. Stay with us.